Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are doing another Dollar Tree shop with me. I hit the jackpot on the fall decor. I just posted a video of the fall and Halloween DIY supplies, but I had a feeling they would be putting out the fall decor uh, within the next day. So I went back and I was right. And there is so much good stuff to share with you guys. It's just going to be the fall decor in this video. And I will have a haul to follow very soon. So these little scarecrows, I believe they are new. And I did see them online and didn't think much of them, but in person, they're adorable. They are really well done and they have lots of details and I just think they're so stinking cute. I love the yard stakes. The football one is new. I was hoping to see the corn stalk yard stakes. I didn't see them. Hopefully they're coming and not just an online only thing. But if you're a football fan, Dollar Tree has you covered this year. There are a couple football options and this has no glitter. So I bet the men in our lives are really gonna appreciate that because they don't want glitter mixed with their football. I'm sure of that. So these signs look new to me and where it says Thanksgiving is actually galvanized metal. This one says autumn in galvanized metal. Maybe we could do some DIYs with that. Not quite sure, I don't have anything in mind, but I think they have some potential. And of course, we have all been waiting for these to come out, these adorable little red truck um, wall signs. They do have a tin leaf, and I love when Dollar Tree puts little tin accents on their signs. It just upgrades them and elevates them and makes them look a little more expensive. So that sign does come in navy blue as well. And uh, these look new to me as well. These are mason jar shaped signs. I don't actually really like these, but I will say that the imaging on them is beautiful, especially this truck. And they do have a bit of burlap on the top. I think they could have done a little bit better with these, but they do have a lot of DIY potential if you would want to um, DIY the backs. And then these are all returning signs from last year. This sign has been updated this year. The pumpkins are different and it just says thankful and really cute text at the top. So I really like that. And then these are returning this year as well. I think these are so beautiful and the scroll is actually raised up. So it's not just one dimensional. There are lots of options for little scarecrows and bows. I think they're so cute and they are totally putting me in the fall mood, you guys. So these orange, red, and green pumpkins are back as well as the burlap ones. The burlap ones do tend to go pretty quickly, so if you're looking for those, head to your Dollar Tree as soon as possible. And I could be wrong, but I think these are a new item too. They are so darn adorable. They are these little like beanbag scarecrows, and they're the perfect size for a tiered tray or a coffee station, and I almost bought an identical a little scarecrow from Hobby Lobby and I'm pretty sure it's double the price even on sale and by the way this little little one is my favorite I love the colors They're, these are just so cute I love them so much so this white pumpkin this year looks a lot better than the ones that i saw last year it's definitely white and not yellow like the ones that i had before were and i have always loved these glittery pumpkins they're kind of like a rose gold color and there's more of an orangey glitter they're just really pretty these are back this year they have had these for the past couple years i think these are really pretty but they do shed those little beads quite a bit so know that before buying them
And then the velvet pumpkins. I cannot believe I saw these in my store. I actually ordered these online and I'll be sharing them in a haul coming very soon. But they come in really fun colors and just a heads up you guys, this um, kind of champagne color, the brown, the teal, and the green, they only come four in a box and there are a lot more of the orange and white ones. So if you like those more kind of funky colors, definitely try to snag them as soon as possible. And here I'm just showing you a comparison in size. These velvet pumpkins are really substantial. I am so impressed with them. I was so happy to see these chalkboard kind of farmer's market inspired signs. These are so cute. They do have a tin leaf as well, so they do look a little more expensive. And I think they look way prettier in person than they did online. I was thinking of DIYing on the back of one of these, but I really don't think I need to. It just, it's cute enough on its own. And I did see some new Halloween items, new to me. I, I have never really gotten super into Halloween decorating. Um, even though Halloween has been one of my favorite holidays for the longest time. So I'm getting a little bit more into it now that we have our house and I really want to pick up a bunch of these LED candles. So let me know if you have tried those. This little ghost is so cute. I think I would be really annoyed by the motion activated noise and lights, but I just think he's adorable. These adorable string lights are back again this year. I think these would be adorable in a coffee bar or on a wreath. I really, really love those. I did pick up a few last year. And I think that these are probably a returning item. Not 100% sure, but they are definitely cute. As well as these lanterns that come in three different styles. So I think that Dollar Tree kind of updated their Thanksgiving patterns. They're similar to what they were last year, but a little bit different. I like um, this kind of wood grain look. I think they had this one last year, but this one is definitely new. It kind of has vintage vibes and I like how they added touches of green because I know that's super popular. These acorns are back. Those are way more expensive at Hobby Lobby. And look at these scarecrows. I just. I actually picked one up and I can't wait to show it to you guys. Last but not least, we have these little floral pumpkins and the white ones are actually kind of cute. I think they're new this year and they're, they're very well done actually. I don't like the orange ones as much and the white ones actually have a lot of DIY potential if you want to add in some cotton stems, some eucalyptus or something to make it a little bit more farmhousey. So maybe I will do a DIY with those, we'll see. I just have so many ideas and videos planned for you guys. So if you're excited for all of my future content, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification and I will catch you guys in a future video. Bye now.